What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome to some Flix Talk news. Today, we're going to be talking about the demise of the phone app Quibi, which was a streaming series platform that kind of had promising hopes. I mean, I was a trial subscriber, so that does say a lot. But today, I also will be talking about Jared Leto joining the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, guys. So we are going to be seeing him possibly again, as well as our first look at Tom Holland in Uncharted. All right, first story. Quibi, the mobile streaming service launched amid great fanfare and nearly 2 billion startup capital is officially shutting down after just six months. It has 100 shows or the entire service should a buyer emerge. The service launched in April just as 19 was started to appeal the world. Quibi ranks among the priciest misfires of any entertainment related startup. Like I said, guys, I was a trial subscriber and they had some promising content. The flaws for me though, personally, I couldn't watch them on my damn TV. I had to watch it on my phone. Its failure will put about 200 employees out of work, punctuating an already grueling time for the entertainment sector. The startup spent lavishly on promotion, buying multiple TV ad slots on the Super Super Bowl and the Oscars last February on the heels of a splashy presentation in Las Vegas at CES. Now, according to ad tracking firm iSpot, the company spent $63.7 million on TV ads in 2020. It's also important to note that one minute of Quibi content cost $100,000 to make, with shows ranging just under 10 minutes. So to put that in perspective, guys, each episode was almost a million dollars. And for a streaming service that had original content that you could only view on your phone was really hurting this streaming service. All right, guys, so big next story. We have Jared Leto returning as the Joker, and it has the internet kind of with some mixed feelings, but more in the negative realm. So let me know in the comments below your feelings on Jared Leto's performance of the Joker. So fans have mixed feelings about the current news situation that Jared Leto's Joker will be making an appearance in the upcoming Zack Snyder Justice League cut for HBO Max and most of them aren't here for it. So shooting is currently underway with Ben Affleck, Ray Fisher, and Amber Heard along with Jared Leto. At this time, it is unknown how big of a role he will have within the film. Leto boarding the Snyder Cut is noteworthy as the character did not appear in the original 2017 movie. It also raises questions about how much new content will be included in Snyder's super version of Justice League. It also ties the new cut to Suicide Squad, the all-star DC movie that saw Margot Robbie break out as a fan favorite character, Harley Quinn and Leto portray Joker as a love obsessed and glittery crime lord. The picture was executive produced by Snyder and his wife partner Deborah Snyder and was meant to tie into an overall DC cinematic universe that Snyder had been shepherding. All right, so that's all the news that we know so far about Jared Leto joining as the Joker in this new Zack Snyder cut. Let me know your guys' feelings once again down in the comments below. All right, guys, now ending off this episode, we have some brand new stills from the Uncharted movie page on Instagram, and we get our first look at Tom Holland playing Nathan Drake. Now, this film is also starring Mark Wahlberg as well as Antonio Banderas. Now, this film will be directed by Ruben Flesher, who also directed Venom and Zombieland Double Tap. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Uncharted, the story is a prequel to the video game starring Holland as a younger Drake, showing us details Details of how he came to meet and befriend Sully. Now, like I said before, this does also star Mark Wahlberg, who plays Victor Sullivan. So let me know, Uncharted fans, are you guys excited for these stills? The movie is still currently filming, but it is slated to release July 16th, 2021. All right, guys, so that is some quick Flix Talk news. Let me know your favorite stories down in the comments below, and I will be having some more videos coming up soon as news does break. Once again, if you guys do appreciate content like this, please hit that thumbs up as well as that subscribe subscribe and bell notification and just a quick heads up guys down in the description below I will be linking my brand new merch store that I just launched a couple of weeks ago so if you guys can please support the channel but if you can't just make sure to hit that thumbs up I always do appreciate it and you guys can always follow me on my social medias down below as well I'm on Instagram Twitter and Facebook let's get a dialogue going guys I do appreciate all my Flix talk fam until the next video I'm gone peace